Welcome back to Let's Play Killer 7. We're on uh, the third level. I'm about to go and fight the mini boss in the Vinculum Gate. Right, 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 right. So that's all those soul shells I was collecting. Uh, I picked Khan for this. Normally I fight this guy with Dan. But uh I've just been thinking as I ran to the level that Khan might be better for it, so here we go. Of course we have to talk to Ghost Boy before we can do anything else, so here he is. You must aim for the sickle. Oh, fly, you fools! Thank you. So now we know how to beat this backside smile. <laughs> so yeah, you just you shoot his arms. He turns around. I fucked it up. Fuck you! Fuck you! There we go, he's dead. That's all there is to that guy. We shoot him in the arm a couple of times, he spins around and shoot him in the back. We actually do want mask now. So you'll see why in a minute. I'll just switch to him now. He's got a cool suit and he's got a cape. Look how he goes down the stairs! Awesome! Hops down like he's doing a little horse riding thing. So, let's go into Harmon's room first. So I think this one lets you save. It does. Oh boy. TV. Well, I have nothing to do on TV anymore, I remember. I won't bother saving. I saved here last time, actually. So, you know, just in case something fucks up, and something did fuck up, I decided to do the level from the starting end. It was Zaru who tells you how to beat the boss. Or the next battle, anyway, I don't even know if you call it a boss, but he tells you how. So, here we go. Break that. Reload if we can. No, we can't. Cutscene starts too soon. We meet again, baby face. So. You were behind this after all. I guess my speech was meaningless. Lucha Libre is for kids! Oh. But you know, you are great with the kids, masked man. Children are pure. They know who's the strongest. Lucha Libre is for peace. Alright, see, this is why this guy's annoying. He shoots you too fast for you to do anything. So you gotta wait until he's, like... Look at this! When you do get him, it's extremely easy. He shoots himself in the head. That's it, fight's over. He has green blood, apparently. But yeah, he's done. That's Agent Jean de Paul. Taken care of. It's also the end of needing mask in this stage, so that's fine too. This cutscene, absolutely meaningless to me. I can't make heads or tails of it. I don't know how to play my song. Taking advantage of us, aren't you? Please enjoy. There's more than one scenario, you know. You got this all mixed up, you monkey. You don't monkey. you think you can hold on to the bar forever when you're on the verge of death? Listen to him, barking like a stupid dog. Gee. <laughs> so, you finally reveal your true self. You dirtbag. I'll take that as a threat to the states. Pong. It's the one who designs first that wins. <laughs> I didn't know monkeys could design. Don't underestimate the monkeys. Pong. 
There are dogs bred for fighting, and they're mean sons of bitches. How do I stop your barking? Chee. What? What can one knight possibly do? Don't you care about winning? You really are a stupid dog. You'd better pay attention before someone puts a bullet in your head. Shut up, monkey. Richie. <laughs> Too bad. Like I said, I know your train of thought. Lawn. Bullshit! Enough of the caviling. This is pathetic. Hey, yo! Cheater! That's a foodie ten! <laughs> you got no hand! What? Shit! It's all over. But what does it mean? Here's the head girl. Hit on a stick. Hello. Hey. Walk around. Walk around. Oh, God. Spare me. Returned. It's our ring. She was just holding on to it in her mouth. <laughs> oh dear. Damn baby boomers. Thank you. It's Travis. Travisimo. I assume it says spider. Spider. What's can? There we go, that's the odd engraving we picked up with Coyote all those, all those minutes ago. So, that control panel affects where the elevator goes. Isn't that nice? This room is now full of smiles. <laughs> <laughs> this is too easy. This is too Back in your hole, boys. Now we're maxed out at a thousand. See if I can't hit that. This is too easy. Now here's the pole. Now that we've killed him, he's a ghost. Oh, 
Here comes Spooky Boy again. He doesn't really give you a tip on how to beat the boss here. He's just ranting to himself. He tells you the weak point, but he doesn't tell you how to target the weak point, so to speak. Oh, I guess he does. Well, there you go. Oh, I thought he didn't. Yeah. It's, it's all in the tie. However, this upcoming boss fight is the reason I've had to re-record all of this, because it made the emulator drop to <laughs> sub 5 frames per second in places. I have no idea how to fix it, but I'm just going to try again and hope it doesn't repeat. But there's a save point just ahead, and I'm going to save in there, just in case. I need to re-record just the boss. Come on, Dan! Dan! I really hate these guys. <laughs> <Turn around. laughs> this right. Is too easy. This is too oh. easy. And there are so fucking many of them. This it's kind of ridiculous. There's Iwazaru, he tells you how to get into the boss. But uh, Travis is over here too, so we'll give us a bit more backstory. Rainbow. Japan's good as shit. Huh. <laughs> right. Oh, let's talk to Wazaru anyway. See what he has to say. This is harsh. In the name of Harmon. Alright then. Let's switch to Friday. Shit. Fuck it. Shit, fuck it. And save. Because I don't want the repeat of what happened last time. So in the next episode, we are going to take out the boss. Whether I record it subsequently to this, or ten tries from now when I finally get the emulator to work. Remains to be seen, but it shouldn't affect you guys anyway. So I'll see you when I... Well, you'll see me. Well, no, you'll hear me and see the game. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>